how do you feel when people talk bad about you? Me, I no cry, dear. Mada. <laughs> Mada. No things. Hear me now, no. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, subscribe, like, share, and do all the good stuff. My name is Hetty Ken. Welcome back to my channel. Normally, I was supposed to, supposed to do this video before I even start uploading any other tutorial so that the people that come here to watch my video, they will know what kind of a person I am or have an idea of who they are watching. So, I thought about it. I sat down and I thought about it and I said, okay, better late than never. I still can do this video because most of the times I get private questions and I ask them why don't you write it at the comment section so that I can give you a reply and they are like giving me all so sort of flimsy excuses so without you I've decided to come out and do a get to know me tag to know who I am you know invade my privacy a bit so without you so if you like my video give it a thumbs up and do all the good stuff i have a book with me so if you see me looking down it's probably i'm looking into the book so let's get started question number one so when did you start your youtube channel I started this YouTube channel, I think about four months ago. Yeah. What inspired you to start your channel? Actually, I, I love to, I love everything about media. And back in Ghana, I even wanted to be in a beauty pageant, but I didn't. It was my personal choice. So, I decided to do something creative. That's why I started my YouTube channel. What are the challenges? The challenges are after everything is done, you have to promote your video and advertise on it so that people will get to love your content. People will get to subscribe to your channel. And yeah, that, that is what I would say is a little bit challenging but apart from that it's normal I see it as a normal thing even with every business when you start it has to be a little challenge somewhere somehow and as time goes on I will overcome them if you keep on watching and subscribing to my video and sharing it advise somebody to start their own YouTube channel of course, I would advise somebody to start a YouTube channel if they love what they want to do or the content that they want to create. It's been a wonderful experience for me. Why not? If you really love you to be to be a YouTuber or to do a YouTube channel, or if you really love to do anything that you dream of, I would advise you that you start doing it. Only if you have a passion for it and you are not in for one reason or the other why not i want to somebody to start their youtube channel what's your channel about there's a lifestyle channel beauty and all the goodies you see i i wanted to do vlogs but i haven't done them i tried once and it couldn't go on well so i stopped for a while but i'll be doing vlogs and yeah that's what should people expect from your channel people should expect more fun more makeup tutorial more chick chats story time and all the good how would you describe yourself in five words i'm a go getter and i am somebody that will be suffering and will be smiling at the same time i'm fun to be with a strong person 
in general have or no makeup of course make i just love makeup i grew up watching my mom having her face make up so i'm a makeup fan makeup of course I can't live without makeup. Would you share your secret with someone? Oh, now that I am here at this age, at this stage in my life, no. It's a no from me. Because I have trust issues with people. Today they are with you, tomorrow they are gone. So it's better I keep my things to myself. So no. What was your nickname in secondary school? Name in secondary school was Hetty Rankin. Everywhere I have my some of my subscribers are my classmates, and they knew in school I was I was called Hetty Rankin. So yeah, that was my nickname in school. But apart from my my nickname in secondary school, my mom and the people that know me in real life. They also call me Sister Baby. My sister who is a baby. <laughs> Simple like that. <laughs> who is your female crush? Mm. My female crush is Beyonce. I just love how she's so strong and feminine and yeah, she has this energy and power that controls things around her. So yeah, she's my female crush. How many language do you speak? Three language. I speak English. I speak my mother tongue, which is Chi, and I speak a little German. Not that good, but I speak a little, a little. What are the three things you look out for in a friend? For me personally, I had bad experience with people or friends in general. So I am not somebody that like friends now. So I don't even know what I would look for in a friend because I am not that type of having friends around me based on my personal experiences with people. So I don't know. One question, do you hate being asked? I hate it when I have a wig on and people ask me, is that your real hair? I'm like, you get out of here right now. <laughs> Look like my real hair. <laughs> what one talent you wish you had? I wish I could sing. I wish I really could sing, but I can't. I love being, I love it when I sing. I tried it when sometimes I was singing in church, but I can't. So that's one talent. What's your favorite car? Porsche. Like Porsche and Casa. Oh, <laughs> that's the car that I love. What country would I love or like to visit? I would like to go to Israel. I don't know. Maybe because I am a Christian. What's your goals for 2020? Hey, I have a lot of goals oh, for 2020. I have a lot of goals, Charlie. It will go the way. But hey, 2020, I wish that my YouTube channel grew. I will have more audience, more views, and more subscribers. And also, I would like to go to school and do other things. But the rest, I would like to keep it. What one thing you notice about people when you meet them? Their character. I am somebody that is very, very, very cautious about people because most of the times, like really people say a lot, but their actions never lie. So when I meet people for the first time, or when I meet people in general, I pay attention to their character, how they relate to other people. Your biggest fear. That's a deep question. When I was young, I used to be afraid. I used to be afraid to die, but now I don't. I don't fear it because I believe when you do the right thing, you know where you are going, and if you have a clean heart and good mind, 
why should you be afraid of life? So, but my biggest fear, I'm sorry I can't say it. <laughs> what one thing you wish to change in your life if given the opportunity? You would change how I trust people and how I let people into my life. Because I used to be this easy going girl type and I have realized one thing now that when people see you that they take advantage they take advantage of you and at the end of the day you get used. So you don't easily trust people. No 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 <laughs> it doesn't work for me. <laughs> hey I did I mean to know for my brother to chat What's the embarrassing moment of your life? Hmm. Do I even have one? I don't have one. I don't I don't think I have one. One career you would love to enter. I would love to be an actress. Hey, if giving the opportunity in Germany, yeah, the way I will act. They see me rolling. And people will be watching me. Oh, oh, jealous before. What's your relationship to your family like? It's good. What do you think is your best feature? My face. <laughs> That's my best feature. What in life are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my life because I believe when I have life, there is hope and I have everything that I want. What's your greatest achievement now? I would say how I have built my relationship with God. If you are not a Christian, this is not for you. To the extent that he has made me confident and reassured me that I can do all things. So for me, it's a great achievement. What's your most terrible memory you would love to forget? Memory I would love to forget. I can't share that with you. I'm sorry, I can't share. Best advice you, you've ever received. All things are possible if you believe. If it's not like that, I wouldn't even be here in the first place doing what I love to do. So if you have any dream in your heart, please believe it. Anyway. What's your favorite movie at the moment? It's War Room. What's your favorite song at the moment? My favorite song at the moment is Tasha Cop featuring Nicki Minaj, I'm getting ready. Vibes maneuver the jet ski because I serve a god that parted the Red Sea. Multi million dollar commercial. How do you, how do you, how do you feel when people talk bad about you? Oh, cry, dear, mother. <laughs> mother. It's not all people that will love and cherish you. You will always have enemies. Normal to have people to hate on you, people to dislike you for no reason. So me being talked about, I'm family. I don't care. They should talk. If, they, if it doesn't affect what I am doing, what is important is what I think about myself, how I relate with other people, and I don't even try to explain myself to them. They are entitled to their opinion and how they see me. And if they want to talk bad about me, they are welcome to do that. I can't stop them. What I can do is that I don't let that affect me or have any influence on my life. I just pursue whatever I want to pursue, put it all my best. At the end of the day, when I have success, it's for me. So I don't care what people talk about. 
even if that person is closer to me and they talk bad about me, I still don't care. Maybe my experience in life has taught me to, so I don't care. People will always have something to talk about. So let them talk. It's your favorite Ghanaian musician, Stoneboy. <laughs> yeah, I like that guy. Hey, who is your favorite Ghanaian gospel artist? Hey, I don't have any favorite Ghanaian gospel artist. Sorry. I like to listen to foreign gospel more. And my personal opinion, I believe Ghanaian gospel song, it has to do, like, it doesn't motivate me to to do something. I don't know, that I can't find the right word, but I don't have any favorite Ghanaian gospel artists. Orange or banana, I'll say banana because I'm Lamborghini or Benz, I would say What's your favorite Ghanaian meal? Oh, any of the blue kwaya ye demwa every. If you weren't in Germany, where would you be? Of course, in Ghana. If I'm not here, I don't think I would have loved to be in Europe in the first place because I was having a better life in Ghana. So I'm not those people that are like appreciate your movie be like Europe or being here is everything to them. Yeah. What's your dream car? My it's not yet in market. Get it. My dream car is now being planned by somebody, so I can't say it. <laughs> so I could hear or Shatawali. Of course. So I could hear. Jackie Apia or Yvonne Nelson. Yvonne Nelson. What age did you start dating? Hey! What age did I start dating? Hmm. I won't say it. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Your favorite makeup product at the moment. At the moment, I like L'Oreal. Everything about them, I like it. Why did you go back to natural hair this friend she's a miss race she told me her experience of racism and how some people see you miss race should miss miss race miss get out of here get out of here man shit i'm saying get race children so we got talking like very deep conversation and I decided to go back to natural stuff, so it really inspired me to go back to my roots being natural. I used to do a video of the big shop, but then again, I was busy, so I didn't have time to record a video, and then I decided to do it off camera. But if you want, to, if you are new to this channel and you got this far, and you want to know how my hair length was, you can check my three minutes back to school hair tutorial you will know how my hair was and now how it looks now so that's it. what makes me happy adios <laughs> so guys that is the end of my get to know me see you again next time